Hey guys, so we're gonna do a tow video. Here's my travel trailer. It's about 7,000 pounds dry. Let's see what it is exactly. It's 6,968 pounds. Uh, that's dry weight. Obviously I have stuff, tools, and different camping gear that's inside of it, so it's gonna be heavier. I definitely wanna go get it weighed to see what the actual weight is. That way we know what we're towing with the Cybertruck. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a little tow video. Um, got a nice little treat because we're gonna go to a supercharger, but it's a little bit different and special. Uh, stay tuned. All right, so I'm gonna have to take these jacks to put them up with my drill. Hopefully I don't upset the, the people that live around here. So if any of you electric vehicle or electric uh, travel trailers are coming out, wanna hit me up on getting me a trailer that has automatic jacks, I appreciate it. Doing some truck stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. That's all. First time putting a hitch in the hitch receiver. All right, let me back it up. I want this thing to roll into it.
about ready to go. All right, we've got the trailer all hitched up. Let's take it on the road. a unique supercharger here. This is one of the only superchargers, or actually the only supercharger that I know of that has a pull through. I know there's others um, around, but this is the only one that I know of. That's why I wanted to come to this location. So, I mean, this works really well. This is gonna be perfect. Hopefully they add more, because as of right now, there's only two. But this is, uh, this is definitely um, perfect for a Cybertruck and towing trailers. All right, let's plug it in. Okay, so we have 97 miles. We started with 308, 308 miles. We have 97, actually added three. So we ended up getting to our destination with 95 miles, 94, 95 miles. Um, it's charging at 215 kilowatts and uh, 400 or 541 miles per hour. Um, and it's saying it's only going to take an hour and 15 minutes to get to 100%, which isn't bad at all. So it's done charging. It took about what the estimate was, about an hour and 15 minutes or so. We got uh, 317 miles now to get back home, which is plenty based on uh, what we ended up getting here with, what was left over. So. Um, I thought I'm pretty impressed in, in the charging rate and the hour and 15 minutes. I mean, we went to go eat something real quick and um, it really wasn't that, it really wasn't that bad. Nothing, I mean, I would normally do that in a normal stop, even with the gas uh, vehicle. So I'm um, pretty, pretty happy and pretty pleased with it. Okay, so this is where we're seeing the benefits of going downhill as opposed to uphill when we drove to the supercharger. Um, right now, about 17 miles driven and our watt hours per mile, mile are at 1,001. That just dropped to 991. So overall, I'm expecting the round trip to be a lot better than the uh, results that we got going to this supercharger. Okay, so we went to the scales to get a true weight of the trailer and then also a, the weight of the trailer with the Cybertruck. That would give us also the weight for the Cybertruck itself. So the trailer, even though on the trailer it states that it's 69 and change, it's actually 6,820 pounds. Uh, Cybertruck and trailer is 13,680, which gives us a weight of 6,860 pounds for the Cybertruck which is uh, heavier than I think they even advertise it to be. All right, guys, we just got back from our loop run towing the travel trailer. So I wanna give my pros and cons as far as the Cybertruck towing a 7,000 pound trailer. Uh, the pros would be that uh, I think with the low center of gravity, um, it towed it just fine. I mean, it, there was really no sway. I didn't feel uh, weighed down by the trailer. It had power. Um, I think that 
overall for a towing vehicle, it's fantastic. Um, my cons would be the fact that it doesn't have tow mirrors. I think that's a big thing. Um, obviously, there's probably going to be a market for aftermarket products. Um, and if so, you know, reach out to me. I would love to test those out. Uh, the other con and the big con is range. Um, I think just, you know, going uphill, it really cuts into the range. You're not going to be able to go long distances like you would in a diesel or in a gas vehicle. But um, I would say overall, the, the Cybertruck really handled the trailer well and I had no issues and I enjoyed my drive, um, but you just are limited to how far you can go. All right, so we got back from our loop run and I just wanna kinda of look at some of the stats here. So we, our distance traveled was 57 miles, which is on par with uh, earlier going 56, getting there. Uh, total energy though is 44 on our way back as opposed to 77 on our way there. Average energy is 774 watt hours per mile when going there was 1,363 watt hours per mile. So definitely a big difference traveling up hills as opposed to coming down the hills. To piggyback off of the uh, watt hours per mile, um, driving the 56, 57 miles back, uh, we have 197 miles left after charging to 100 percent so i believe on our way there there was only about 94 95 miles left and we have over 100 more miles all due to the fact that we're going downhill it's pretty interesting thank you for watching if you like this type of content please subscribe as i have more tow videos coming soon